What's up, you guys? Welcome back to New Jack City. Today we are talking about SNL, Dave Chappelle, and uh, I, Jonathan Green Blot. Yeah. Okay. First, let me read this real quick because there's a couple things I need to read real quick. Da, 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 da. Let me get to it. Get to it. Get to it. My bad, y'all. Sorry, I didn't have this already screenshotted, but that's how it goes sometimes in Tyler Vila's life. <laughs> you feel me? But, uh, where is it? I can't find it. Hold on. Dave, 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 where you at? Bro, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. All right. Dave Chappelle on SNL. What was that? I don't know if it was that long. Okay. Dave Chappelle on SNL. He jokes about Kanye West and Kyrie Irving's anti Semitic backlash, calls Herschel Walker. Um, observa observably stupid and refers to Trump as an honest liar. Okay. Now, Anti-Defamation League CEO There's a league? <laughs> wow, okay. Anti-Defamation uh, League CEO calls out SNL for popularizing anti-Semitism uh, after Dave Chappelle monologue. He's tweeted out, We should expect at Dave Chappelle to serve as society's moral compass but disturbing to see NBC, SNL, not just normalize, but popularize anti-Semitism. Um, why, why are Jewish uh, sensitivities denied or diminished at almost every turn? Why does our trauma trigger applause? Shut up. Okay. Oh, God, this is irritating. I'm a YouTuber too. Come on, bro. Like, I, how am I just getting? I just got irritated by that. Okay, listen. Once upon a time, in the '70s, when no, no, let's go back even further than that. Once upon a time, when Bill Cosby came out, Bill Cosby came out, and he had a. I know that's a bad example too, because, but listen, Bill Cosby came out, and you know he his joke was not edgy. He was a funny comedian. Well, people think I I never really thought Bill Cosby was funny. I never really liked the Cosby show. But people thought he was funny, but he wasn't edgy. Then there was someone called one of the greatest comedians to ever do it. Even till this day. I watched some of his stuff. And he is freaking hilarious. Richard Pryor. He came along and he was the most edgiest comedian we have ever seen in our lives. Him and Eddie Murphy. And I love Eddie Murphy. But him and Eddie Murphy were, well, let's get to Richard Pryor right now. Richard Pryor came out and he was one of the most edgiest comedians that has ever done it. He talked about white people. He talked about black people. He talked about Latinos. He talked about racism. He talked about um, how they covered up Egypt and stuff like that in some of his video. I mean, in some of his movie or doc, oh, show, sorry. Um, he talked about a lot of stuff and he joked about it. And... The jokes that he was telling, we laughed because a lot of the stuff that he was saying was true, but it was also funny because of the way he did it. Then Eddie Murphy came along and he got even more edgier. He talked about gay people. I don't know if y'all remember, but he called somebody, uh, somebody was like, oh, we love you, Eddie, or something like that. And he was like, oh, what, you effing, uh, F-A-G-G-O-T? Now, people was laughing at that time, but if we were to do that now, it would be called sensitive. It would be called, um, you know, hate speech or whatever. But Richard Pryor cultivated a lane for comedians to be truthful and to be funny at the same time. Comedians actually had a great, they were the only people in this world that was able to say what they wanted to say and have a grace about it because they were comedians so we couldn't take it really that literally they were the only people in this world that had that now we're trying to take that away from them this is one of the reasons why a lot of comedians are not funny anymore this is one of the reasons why we cherish dave chappelle so much because dave chappelle said f that 
I'm going to still say what I want to say and still be funny. And I'm going to show y'all I'm going to still make money by this because people are going to stand by me. I stand by Dave Chappelle cold heartedly because guess what? It's a joke. It's a joke. That's what we have to understand. It's a joke. Y'all doing too much. Oh, we got to cancel him. He's anti-Semitic. No, he's not anti-Semitic. It's a joke. Relax. Relax. Because there's a couple of white comedians that talked about, you know, that actually say some racist jokes. And yeah, we be getting on them, but we ain't trying to cancel them. We just be like, all right, whatever, bro. Like, you know, like, what you said was racist and we're not going to support it, but we're not going to try and cancel you. Do you. we going to stay over here and, and get to the, and, you know, and uh, and mess with these comedians. We don't like what you're saying, but we're going to stay over here with these comedians that because we like what they're saying. It's the same thing what y'all should do. If you don't like what Dave Chappelle said, don't watch it. Don't listen to it. You don't have to call him anti-Semitic and you don't have to cancel him. It's not that serious. It's a joke. And even the joke, I don't know if y'all heard it, but y'all should go look at um, what he said in SNL. Even when he said the joke, he was joking about, the. he was joking on Kanye West. Because, you know, John, Kanye West says the higher ups are the Jewish people. And not, and honestly, that's really not true. It's like, well, somewhat it is, but not all people that are at the top are all Jewish people. So that's why he said, oh yeah, the higher ups, because we don't know exactly who the higher ups is, but he's making fun of Kanye West and y'all still trying to say he's anti-Semitic. This is the, this is the day that we live in right now. We, we live in a freaking care bear, teddy, teddy bear world. I hate, I hate it. I really do because we have, we have missed out on some really good comedians because of that. And you know, we still have, I mean, honestly, we don't even really have comedians like that. If we really think about it, there's not really like legit comedians like that. And a lot, of, and I understand why, because it's like, I can't be edgy anymore. Definitely if I'm coming up, you can, if you're coming up, you can, definitely can't be edgy no more. Nah, that's not, that's not true. Because if you come up and you're being edgy and people see that you're being edgy, they're just going to cancel you. So there's that. And then let's say you do make it. But you ain't got no, but you ain't got no meat in the game like Dave Chappelle. They're gonna cancel you too because it's like, all right, bro. Like, I mean, you cause too many problems. We not about to. We don't really know you like that, so we are not gonna stand behind you. That's why Dave Chappelle, like, he's a Nash. Literally, Dave Chappelle right now is a national treasure, and we have to guard him with our life, like literally, because he is the only person that still puts up stand up on Netflix and and you know, independence independently and stuff like that, and be true to his word. And we know he gonna say some funny stuff, but he gonna be having some edgy comedy. And we don't have edgy comedy no more. I'm not listening to Kevin Hart, uh, stand up comedian. And, and I have no problem with Kevin Hart. I like Kevin Hart. Actually, I used to think he was really funny, but he got into Hollywood. He started hanging around a lot of a lot of the people that he hang around, and you know he's just not that funny anymore like that. Even his movies, it's just like. Eh. Nah, like he he tried to play the little the little the grown man little child type roles, and I don't like that like at all. That's not funny to me. So I don't know, man. This it, it annoys me. It annoys me, and I I really think that we should guard Dave Chappelle um, as much as possible because he is literally the only comedian that we know that still exists that is edgy. Even Eddie Murphy. I don't know if y'all remember, but and I'm about to end the I'm about to end the video real soon. But I don't know if y'all remember, but even Eddie Murphy, people was like, "Oh yeah, will you ever come back to stand up and stuff like that?" And Eddie was like, "Yeah, I mean, I might do it. I'm thinking about it and stuff like that, but he's not gonna come back. Come on, no, <laughs> he's not. First off, he's not bold enough to even do that to be uh to go out there and actually you know do what a Dave Chappelle would do. He's not he's not gonna do that. So, and on top of that. If I'm not getting Eddie Murphy raw, I don't want him to be on it. Like, I'm cool. Even the new Eddie Murphy movies that he makes right now. Like, I didn't watch Coming to America 2. <laughs> no. <laughs> and from what I heard, heard it was weak. It wasn't even that funny. No one is going to ruin the classic movies that he's done in my head. Life, Coming to America, Harlem Nights. 
I don't, you're not touching those films. I don't want to be. That's why I hate when they do sequels. Definitely in this day and age. What you did back then was legendary. It's a literally, it's a black classic. We hold, I hold that movie dear. I just watched Harlem Lights, Harlem Nights like two months ago because it's just that funny. And I don't want people to ruin it. Even himself, he's, he's going, I wouldn't want him to touch Harlem Nights because he would ruin Harlem Nights. That movie is so phenomenal. I don't want no one touching it. So that's why I never watched Coming to America 2. And I plan, I don't even plan on doing it. Because same thing with Friday. Friday, classic. Next Friday, classic. Last Friday, not really, or, or Friday after next, sorry. Not really a classic, but it was funny. I don't want him to do Last Friday. Because if he does Last Friday and he brings back Chris Tucker, and the way Chris Tucker is on, he's talking about... I don't want to. I don't want to portray uh, Smokey as being. I don't want to portray, uh, portray Wheat. No, don't bring him back. I don't want to. hit No, I'm good. Leave that character there. If you're not gonna bring back Smokey, leave it alone. I don't want to see it. I don't. Cause I know Mike Epps gonna bring. I'm going. I know he's gonna bring his character back. So that's a given. But we need Smokey. If you're gonna bring back Smokey back, if you're not gonna bring Smokey, no. <laughs> I'm good, bro talking about Smokey needs to have some growth no no growth I don't want to see no growth I want to see him coming back from rehab because on oh, next Friday he said he was in rehab Smokey is in rehab I'm gonna come back um you know back to the block and you know him being like a change man and him going back to smoking that's what I yes that's what I want I don't want Smokey but anyway how do y'all feel about what I said I'm sorry I made that a rant 11 minute rant but how do y'all feel leave in the comment section give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel, all right? I will see y'all next time. All right? Living, living, just enough. Living, just for the city. Living, 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 just enough.